Welcome to Genius Kitty's channel, your number one channel for getting educative content. I'm sure that every time you, you come online to check this channel, you'll be able to get content that will improve your mathematical skill. Please download, please subscribe, like, and share. Share with everyone and let them also watch so that they can benefit from the value this channel is giving. We have come today again with another topic, circumference of a circle. You can watch my previous video on perimeter of plane, plane shapes, especially on, uh, we have it on, I did also uh, irregular shape with it, talking about square, talking about rectangle, triangle, and uh, irregular shape. But today I'm focusing on circle, circumference of a circle. Circumference is the same thing as what? Perimeter of a circle. So the way we are asking you to do perimeter of a circle or circumference of a circle, we are still saying the same thing. This is a formula for it. We'll go through it and we'll solve all the questions you have on the board. Now we have let me take you through the formula. We have uh, the formula for this to be 2 pi r. 2 pi r, in cases where radius, r is starting from, let me start, pi is 22 over 7 or 3.14. If you divide 22 over 7, you'll be getting 3.14. Let's do that. 22 divided by 7, that's 3. This is 21. You are left with 1. It's not possible. Add your 0. 10 divided by 7, that's 1. Three, 7 times this is this. You have 3. So add 0. 30 divided by 7, that's 4. And that's 28. So we have 2. So 3.14 is the same thing as 22 over 7. Sometimes the question we ask you to use pi as 3.14. And sometimes they will tell you that pi is 22 over 7. You will always be giving pi. You will always be giving the value of pi. You will also be giving r. r is our radius. Radius is half of the, the, the diameter. From the beginning of the circle to this end is diameter. Half of a diameter is called radius. Sometimes you are giving a radius and sometimes you are giving D, which is diameter. I have put examples of such on the board. So if you are giving two pi, if you are giving radius, you are using this formula. But if you are giving pi, pi, uh, diameter, you'll be using your formula to be pi d. Pi d. So whichever one you are giving, just go ahead and use that formula. Let's start with the first example. I have a circle here with a radius of seven centimeters. I'll use this formula and I have my pi to be 22.5. 22 over 7. So, solution is going to be 2 pi r, 2 over 1 times pi, which is 22 over 7 times 7 over 1. So, here I can solve it now. Once I have my, once I know my formula and I apply it, I'll get my answer. Now, 7 can divide 7. So I'm left with 2 times 22, which is 44 centimeter. That's my final answer to the first question. I took my time to explain the formula so that you can know the formula is important. Once you understand the formula, you can solve any question on circumference of a circle. To the next question, which is, a radius of 14 centimeters. Our formula still remains the same. We have 2 pi r is going to be 2 times the pi is 22 
over 7 and the radius this time round is 14 over 1. So when you have such radius, then you can divide. 7 can divide 7, 1. 14 can divide, 7 can divide 14, 2. Once you have divided that, multiply through. 2 times 22, 44. 44 times 2, 88 centimeter. So the circumference of this second circle is 88 centimeter. Now the third question is talking about they're giving us a diameter. You can see it's from this end of the circle to this end. This is a diameter. So you go ahead and use pi d. You cannot say 2 pi r in this case. So once you are giving uh, 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 diameter, just use this formula, pi d. Pi d means pi times the diameter you are giving. So you can watch my video on multiplication of uh, fraction so that you can get this. But this is a simple way to do it. 22 times 5. You can do your workings by the side. This is 10. This is uh, 10 plus 1, 11. So we have 110 over 7 times 1, 7. Now do your long, long division. It's going to be 110 divided by 7. So 11 divided by 7, that's 1. You have 4 and 0. Then we have 40 divided by 7, that's that's um, 5, 7 times 5, 35, you are left with 5, 7 divided by 5 is not possible, add your decimal points and add zeros here, 50 divided by 7, that's 7, 7 times 7, that's 49, so you can stop here, you have your answer to be 15.7 centimeter. So the meter of this, of this circle, or circumference of this circle, is 15.7 centimeter. Go to the very last question on my board, which is the circumference of this circle, which the radius is in, is in uh, decimal. In this case, uh, you can use the pi to be 22 over 7, or use 3 points. One four. The formula is still the same. Two pi r, which can be you can decide to use the decimal, which I want to use so that I can at least make you see how to use three point one four. So two times three point one four times one point four. I'm not using twenty two point seven. So. We can now multiply. I can decide to multiply this first. 3.14 times 1.4. You can watch my video on multiplication of decimal by decimal. You'll be able to understand this, but I will still explain. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1, that's 5. 4 times 3 is 12. Now 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. Now we can add up 6, 9, 3, and 4. As it is, I'm going to place my decimal points this way. Two, this is two decimal points, two decimal places, 1, 2, and this is one decimal place, making three decimal places. Then I can count it. One, two, three. So my final answer is 4.396. Don't forget, two is still here. Then we multiply it by two. Let's multiply. Two times six is 12. Two times nine is 18 plus one, 19. Two times three is six plus one, seven. Two times four, is 8. This is 3 decimal places. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3. My answer is 
8.792 centimeter. That's the perimeter of this last question right on the board. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe to this channel so that you can keep getting educative content. Till I come your way again, just know that we are here for you to, for you to master mathematical skill. See ya!